Hopefully I can make this one kind of quick. I, I uh, just turned the camera on just now and I went on like forever and was talking at such a slow speed. Boy, it just killed me if I was going to actually watch my own video, which I do a lot. So um, I got a call from my uh, psychiatrist and he was talking to me finally after a week of me having stopped an antidepressant. And this is very bad news for um, the fact that they tell you that if something has gone wrong with um, an, an antidepressant that you're not supposed to stop it right away. Uh, but then, you know, <laughs> It's uh, really a catch-22 because if you end up in the emergency room, they call your they call your doctor, and in my case, they they couldn't get him, and uh, but he just kind of took his sweet old time with this so-called emergency phone call, and in the end, I've been off of I've been off of it for a week. And you're just really not supposed to just stop taking it. But, um, you know, it was significant enough with uh, small hallucinations and, uh, you know, big deal things in which you just, you know, I've never, I've never run into situations of um, side effects being rising to the level of uh, deciding that it had to be stopped cold. So, and you know, I mean, I did what I was supposed to do. I called right away, left the message. Uh, I was very clear when she wanted to just hang up quick. And you know, I, I made sure I told her, I have stopped completely. And usually he is able to call me that same day um, to give me a, a solution as to what I should do and are you sure that you're not like understanding um you know that uh that you know this is this is what I'm calling about you know that I have um I said I you know there I'm feeling baby ants crawling on my arm um that are not there I'm seeing little gnats fly in my vision that I don't believe are actually there. Um, I'm sleeping for about 12 hours and having, I, you know, I have never taken psychosilic mushrooms, but I'm pretty sure they would be about the same. Um, and this is nothing that I've experienced before. So um, I don't feel that I have the option of weaning myself off. And you're really not supposed to just stop cold turkey. And um, he usually can call me right away for much less than that has happened in the past. Oh, well, I will let him know. You know, and it took a week. It took a week for this emergency phone appointment to take place. So I have been on a roller coaster. Um, I mean, it has involved, um, uh, you know, my emotions going everywhere. It, it is a. It has involved my eyes swelling, sweating sleeping, dreaming, feeling like I'm the most intelligent person on the face of the planet, um, letting people, <laughs> letting, letting people know <laughs> all about my intelligence. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit of a force to be reckoned. <laughs> okay, but you know, but I have gotten a few things accomplished that are kind of useful and they're, and I think that they're going to stay in place because they're kind of clever actually. Um, 
So, okay. So one of the things that um, I think um, is a good idea, I mean, you might, you might as well use it while it's there. Um, it's probably going to go away pretty soon because I did talk to this doctor and um, uh, things will be ready at the drugstore uh, pretty soon. And so I'll be trying out something, something new. And I have, I uh, have also called my neurologist and uh, I think there may be a switch uh, needed there because um, I've been on the same meds for a long time, but I keep on having breakthrough absence seizures. So I don't know if it's because it's interacting with other meds or something. I mean, it's it's good in the sense that there aren't very many side effects to that. And I've had a lot of problems with those types of medicines. So in that sense, you know, I wouldn't really want to switch, but I have to have something that works. So, um, and yeah, I would love to have something that helped me clean my room, you know, and, you know, make myself look a little bit better but um but yeah I'm not completely uh with it uh right now but I definitely am very talkative so um okay so one of the ideas that I had is that um it would be nice to have a three ring binder in order to take with you to doctor's appointments um and uh, a software problem, a software program could handle this in the sense that they could um, ultimately produce a printable eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that looked pretty, that like the color behind me, that, that green color or a gray color or something like that could, um, could be white plus a little bit of color like that. And it could, ask you a series of questions like what medications have are you on now what have you been on roughly what dates were, were that and it could section it off with heart and kidney and things um, it could ask you about life events that were stressful and then it could offer different ways for you to print it off. It could simply be a list of medications or it could um, have you sort things out into time periods where uh, you were moving, you were divorcing. Um, so then if you were talking to a doctor and you were trying to find a new med to switch to and trying to think of things that you had been on in the past and you had ruled them out for some reason and you almost maybe forgot why you had ruled them out, you might end up looking back and saying, yeah, why was it that we had stopped Prozac, Paxil, something. Um, and then maybe you looked across that time period and you said, oh, isn't that interesting that during that time period, you were also on something else that turned out that it got recalled because it lowered your potassium or it made you made people dehydrated or something. And um, maybe actually uh, that was more of the reason that it had caused the problems. Maybe we sort of looked at it the wrong way at the time. So maybe it's time to give it another try. So you'd be able to uh, put it together a little bit better. And since, you know, since they don't have time 
uh, to be detectives and spend a lot of time at that. Um, you know, they do have a lot of things written down on, on their systems, but they just don't, you know, they don't spend the time to check and cross check and, and certainly not with your life events that possibly added stress to the situation. Um, then uh, it's really up to us now. Maybe there's a hundred things out there that already do it, but if there is, it's certainly not knocking knocking on my door, uh, presenting itself. And this could also end up being more of a life coaching type thing that uh, has some opportunities for it to kind of talk, you know help talk people through the gathering up of all that information so that you can much more easily be your own healthcare advocate because um, you definitely these days need to uh, look at things. I mean, I when I talked today, I tried to once again make the pitch for Welbutrin. I said, I'm sick of being fat and Welbutrin will help you lose weight. And I said, and I know you don't want to give me Welbutrin because it says that it's not good for people who have seizures. I said, but for the past three years, I have had a constant running problem with breakthrough seizures. And I have been faithfully taking my seizure medicine. And my neurologist has been increasing the amount of seizure medicine that I take. He's been suggesting to take some in the morning and some at night and all kinds of adjustments and tweaks to the medicine. And even the medicine has changed from, you know, one to another, although those medicines have side effects and some I couldn't stand. Um, and, you know, sometimes doctors don't believe you as far as what sorts of side effects you have. I was telling him that one of the medications caused extreme pain in my hands. Oh, just, I mean, almost to where I couldn't bend my hands around my steering wheel. And he just told me it was arthritis, that just my at my age, I would be getting arthritis. And I mean, I, I wanted to wring his neck. Um, you know, well, funny how that arthritis just completely vanished when I switched medications. Um, so, uh, you know, I, um, you know, even if that medication, in fact, I, I almost think that it did treat my seizures a little bit better than what I'm on now, but I couldn't stand the pain in my hands. So, um, so unfortunately there's, you know, there's, uh, it's just not an exact science. There's all sorts of trade-offs and, um, and so, um, you know, another thing that doctors will not talk about is any kind of foods or vitamins. Uh, some, I mean, sometimes they'll say, don't take St. John's wort. Uh, don't eat um, uh, grapefruit. And that's where it ends. Now, if you then switch to going holistic, you know, going to a guru, well, then they don't want to mention a thing about traditional medicine. So, 
you know, in this thought of mine about having some kind of a software program that would just simply allow you to print um, uh, pretty pages with uh, a place for a three-hole punch. I mean, it's somewhat of a... It's archaic in one sense. I mean, in one sense, you don't really need a computer at all to do it, but um, a database would allow you to resort and easily update. And you could even go further and further with it. Like there's, I would guess, <coughs> there's probably a way to, um, to uh, tie in generic medication names to the brand names and then maybe even uh, have a link to like a description uh, if that might be useful um, or um, uh, maybe the code name for Medi uh, Medi Medicare or something to a procedure. I, you know, I don't know. Um, but uh, on some of these sheets, you could potentially add other sheets of paper in, uh, into uh, where you might then say that you went to Florida, went to the beach, went to Disney World, Disney World, I mean, I because I swear that when I have taken trips to Florida or trips to Disney World, well, when you break it down, what does that exactly mean? Um, because I've gotten a boost from it you know, kind of a serotonin boost. So going to Disney World, it used to mean that I was going with some family members. So, okay, so I, um, you know, sometimes I was um, beginning from a state where, you know, I was depressed, but yet I got it together enough to um, go to Florida. So then I then had a social experience for a week. I had sunshine. Um, the family, the extended family wanted to go, go, go and see things and do things. So I went from uh, you know, like they say, zero to 60, basically. Uh, it was, you know, my body had doing, had been doing absolutely nothing, not, not going to a gym, not going on hikes, not going on walks, not doing anything. Um, but uh, during the trip to Florida, it was like, get up at nine o'clock, meet for breakfast. So I was eating. Um, I, you know, it was, you know, every type of walking was also basically walking out with the sun shining. It really wasn't any kind of a walking in kind of a, like a mall type of a covered situation. It was all basically walking outdoors bright sun shining, um, conversation happening, and, uh, you know, maybe even with, uh, you know, wait staff and other people in line, other families, and, and um, sights and sounds and music, and um, uh, deciding to 
buy goofy little things and and um, and just quite a lot of physical activity. So yeah, physical activity, sunshine, social activity, food on a regular basis, getting to sleep because you're legitimately tired after a long day of of um, a long day of um, you know just a lot of activity um, gave my body a full total reset a full total you know fresh air um, you know trees and and um, you know rain <laughs> always and uh, you know I would come back and I would be able to continue that up, upbeat feeling that that had given me, um, you know, and that was able to go on for a while. So, um, so even recording something like that, you know, that meant something. Um, so I, I've known for a long time that that meant something. Like, you know, certainly would be easier, maybe not as much fun or something, but it would be easier if that could just be bottled up. Oh, yeah, a total, total lazy person's uh, approach to this, but, you know, pill marked Walt Disney World, you know, I'll just take, take a pill every day called Walt Disney World, you know. Uh, but... Um, but yeah, if I could spread that out in, uh, a book, if, if everybody could, if, if, if that was just, like I say, it's kind of low tech in a sense, but if there you've got it and you say, well, um, here I am searching for the golden goose and the year of the pandemic, let's say that I didn't go to Walt Disney World that year. And, um, and I was a mess for so much longer. I, I didn't get out of my doldrums. Um, <coughs> Didn't get out of my doldrums um, like I had before. And not only that, um, look at how many more medications I've added to my regimen. I am now on, uh, I'm just, it's not me personally now, but I'm just making up a scenario here, you know, um, you know, maybe I'm, I'm now, okay, that's my, that's my drugstore. Um, uh, if somebody would say, I'm now on an anti-anxiety medicine and I'm now on, you know, two, two more and, you know, gee, what, what if I had just been able to, uh, go on a trip? Um, what happens if I had just been able to do that instead of, you know, if we hadn't had the pandemic? Uh, so, uh, so looking at this now that the pandemic is over, uh, now I can see that um, I can potentially look towards reducing some of those medications and get back into it with 
with trips, maybe a cruise, maybe something else. But, um, but that legitimately uh, was really an important part of my overall mental health. You know, and maybe people who had been members of uh, gyms would end up noticing something similar if they were to write down, down those types of things. Maybe they ended up uh, starting on mental health uh, medication that they never had been on before. Um, because of stopping physical activity. And it might just be a matter of as soon as they can get back into their routine of physical activity that they can then um, be back in good spirits that way. So... Um, this, you know, I'm, I think I'm now about to start repeating myself, but, um, so, yeah, um, I'm kind of thinking, uh, this, 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 um, this situation of me sort of being in between meds and stuff, um, uh, kind of has giving me a little boost in the brain, but, uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm not about to, like, cut my ear off or something because of, uh, all of these, um, like, historical figures who were, uh, highly creative, uh, but yet psychotic as well. Um, I would really like to be um, able to keep my room clean, um, uh, uh, have a much more of a daily routine, Wake up, take a shower. Not have to hate taking a shower. I really, I don't know why I have to dread that so much. Um, so, um, and, and, and wake up when it's the time to wake up. That's another thing, is when I wake up and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon, I just want to like run, 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 you know, try to get, I have to sort of jump into the day as fast as I can before businesses start closing down. I missed yesterday calling my neurologist because I was like two minutes away from his place closing, closing, and I missed him. So, um. So, okay, so anyway, that was my, uh, my, um, drugstore. So, uh, that means maybe, we'll see, maybe, hopefully, um, well, for instance, there's no reason I should not be in my pool in the sun right now. Why can't I be doing that? You know, why is that so difficult? Why is everything so difficult right now? Well, yeah, it's just when you are just a little bit off, uh, every stinking thing in life seems to be difficult, unless you want to invent something. Then I've got the ideas, it seems. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. That's all. Just how about inventing cleaning your bedroom? Oh, but that's just so ridiculously boring. Yeah. Okay. That's all. That will do it. Bye-bye.